from My Natural Family. My blog focuses on all sorts of alternative diets. So I'm going to teach you how to make an easy crock pot roast. And I'm going to focus on some tips of how to make it so you can adapt it to lots of different kinds of diets. So you should start this at the grocery store. If you're doing a clean eating or paleo diet, it's harder to pick out the kind of meat. You should be trying to eat organic or even better, grass-fed. It can be hard to find those in grocery stores. So we go to Sprouts and they have what's called Old Time. That's a kind of a trademark or something of theirs. All their bunch of their red meat is Old Time. I think they that means they don't add the red dye and the oxygen, whatever it is that it has milk in it, and if you have a milk allergy, I used to get so sick when I would eat it because when I had a milk allergy, you want to stay away from that, but the old time doesn't have that. They also do something to make it aged. Sometimes sprouts will have a grass-fed roast at our store, but most of the time they don't. It can be very hard to find a grass-fed roast in town. So where I buy most of my meat, especially my red meat, is at U.S. Wellness Meats. Um, and I can put a link down in the description. You can go there and they have really good roasts and they're frozen, which I like because they're consistent and you, what I do is I order a whole bunch of meat all at once. Like I'll order like 20 pounds of ground beef. It's all vacuum sealed. It comes right to your door. You just fill up your freezer with it, get some roasts and some other good stuff in it. So I really like that. And it's true grass fed beef, like grass finished, which is important. Now another thing you're going to want to buy at the grocery store is beef stock. Unless you want to make your own bone broth and that can be another tutorial that is like way better than anything you're going to buy at the store, but let's get real, most people aren't going to do that. You have to be so super careful about buying stock at the store. They are so tricky in making you think that it's super healthy and organic. The other thing at the store that you're going to have to make a decision about is your vegetables. Now the traditional roast has carrots and potatoes, which is fine for a lot of people. Even clean eating can do that. Paleo, of course, can't be regular potatoes. I did sweet potatoes this time because that's what I had on hand. And so if you're doing paleo, you could, you want to do sweet potatoes or you should try parsnips. Those are really good. You can just do tons of onions if you want. I mean, there's a lot of vegetables you could try in the store to add to it. You could just do tons of onions. You don't want to do anything that's going to get really super soft, like say if you did zucchini, it's just going to turn into a disgusting mush in the crock pot. If you like this video and want more, please feel free to subscribe to my channel or follow me on my blog at mynaturalfamily.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.